Hello everyone welcome back to my channel. Please like, share, comments, and subscribe. Egypt's first high-speed rail system has taken another step forward with the signing of a $3 billion deal by Siemens Mobility to cover the first 660 kilometers of the 1,800-kilometer train network. In the presence of the Egyptian Prime Minister and Minister of Transport, as well as the German ambassador in Egypt, Siemens Mobility announced a contract with the National Authority for Tunnels to deliver a comprehensive rail system that will include the first-ever high-speed, electrified main and rail freight line, which will transform transportation in the Arab Republic of Egypt. Siemens Mobility will provide comprehensive services to design, install, commission, and maintain the systems for 15 years in collaboration with Oriscom Construction and the Arab contractors. The total contract value is around $4.5 billion, with Siemens Mobility accounting for nearly $1.5 billion. The contract, which was signed on September 1, 2021, covers the first 660 kilometers of the projected 1,800-kilometer rail network. In addition, in the following months of 2021, it was decided to discuss and finalize agreements on the two other high-speed railway lines, including rail infrastructure and trains, as well as maintenance. The Egyptian Minister of Transport, Lt. Gen. Kamal El-Wazir, stated, this high-speed train will strengthen the infrastructure of the areas it passes through and help achieve urban sprawl, in addition to linking the new administrative capital at new cities to the railway network for transporting passengers and goods. The project will also help boost tourism by providing a rapid, modern, and safe form of transit that meets the demands and expectations of all Egyptians across the country, and is regarded a big step forward in the sector of rail transportation. Siemens, for its part, will deliver the most up-to-date smart technology solutions as well as ongoing assistance for local skill development. We are happy to help the Egyptian government's desire to modernize its transportation sector by developing its first high-speed electrical rail network, said Roland Bush, President and Chief Executive Officer of Siemens. By constructing a more efficient, safe, and sustainable transportation system, this historic project will create jobs, increase economic growth, and improve the quality of life for millions of people. We are committed to offering the most sophisticated technologies and supporting the development of local capabilities as a long-term partner to Egypt. We are honored and proud to become Egypt's partner in constructing a state-of-the-art rail system that will transform the everyday travel for millions of Egyptian people, commented Michael Peter, CEO of Siemens Mobility. Our world-class trains will provide an enhanced passenger experience, and combined with our digital leadership in rail infrastructure, we will deliver a safe, reliable, and efficient transportation system. In addition to benefiting passenger travel, the first fully electric mainline rail network in Egypt will create thousands of local jobs and open up huge possibilities for freight transport, Michael added. Siemens Mobility will supply high-speed trains, high-capacity regional train sets, and freight locomotives for this project. A safe and reliable signaling system, as well as a power supply system that supplies efficient and continuous energy, will be built, based on the latest computer-based interlocking technology and European Train Control System Level 2. Siemens will also deliver and integrate the most up-to-date communications, safety, and security technologies ensuring a pleasant passenger experience. The trains as well as other subsystems are built on cutting-edge, well-proven products and platforms. The tracks will be installed by Siemens Mobility's consortium partners, while the client will build the bridges and support the sub-construction. The 660-kilometer route will link the Red Sea port of Ain Sokna with the Mediterranean ports of Marsa Matru and Alexandria, providing a Suez Canal-style link on the rails. The two additional lines will connect the Greater Cairo region to Aswan and Luxor through Hurghada and Safagia, respectively, along the Nile River. The entire network will re-establish Egypt as a regional transportation leader, with expected consequences on several economic sectors, including the empowerment of small and mid-sized firms, and a predicted economic boost. The partnership will directly employ around 15,000 Egyptians, with another 3,800 employed by Egyptian suppliers and indirectly through the Egyptian economy. As soon as the other lines are ready for implementation, it is expected that many more positions will be generated. In addition to creating jobs, the project will support a large local technical training and qualification program, which will offer the necessary skill development to complement the project. In comparison to present emissions from vehicle and bus transit, the fully electrified system will lower primary energy consumption and overall air pollution by 70%. As a result, Egyptians will have a better quality of life while also conserving the environment. 
the rail system will be built using cutting-edge technology, tried and true products, and European standards. The signaling system that will be provided meets the strictest safety standards. Passengers and employees will also be safe thanks to comprehensive testing, commissioning, and local training. The connection will carry more than 30 million passengers per year and save up to 50% on travel time, resulting in a significant improvement in employee productivity. It will also connect Cairo to the new urban settlements that are being built. Cairo's population has more than doubled since 1980, reaching almost 20 million people. As a result, new communities are being built around the Cairo metropolis to relieve the congestion. A comfortable and inexpensive commuter system will also minimize travel time from east to west in Cairo. Furthermore, the railway will connect both sea and dry ports, enhancing freight transportation efficiency. The total amount of inland freight transported by rail will be raised by 15%. Thank you for watching this video.